Hey there, how's it going? I'm Brian Pickle, and we are back for another episode of Sunset Mirage for the first time in quite a long time. So, obviously, with the release of City Skylines 2, my focus was mostly there. And, but I, I've just missed the city, and I want to get back into it. And so, my goal is to, my, my plan here, is to kind of alternate weekly between City Skylines 1 and City Skylines 2, at least until... There's some more things for City Skylines 2 coming out and or I finished this series of Sunset Mirage. Now, the last time we were in this city was during a live stream. So if you missed that, no worries. We're actually going to undo everything that I did for it. The only thing I'm keeping is this rock formation here. Everything else is going to get deleted. So we built this truly horrendous high density green city stuff. And we're just going to we're going to completely undo it. And kind of start from scratch because I was just playing around getting back into the city and just playing around with, with City Skylines 1 again, doing a little celebratory live stream. So I didn't really have a plan in mind and it pretty much looks like that. So today I have a better plan and we're going to go and work with that. So let me go ahead and clear this all up to start. Okay, so here we are back with it all nice and cleared out. Yeah, I just uh, wasn't really pleased with any of it and... It wasn't really planned by any means. So, again, I just kind of want to go through and plan it a little bit better, I guess, this time. And so what I want to do to start is just with our regular roads, we'll, we'll upgrade things as we want to in the future. But for now, I think what I'd like to do is come out about here to help start setting up a little bit of an area for where I would like a park to sit. So I think if we connect it up to about with this uh, guideline here, that should be a good place to start. And we'll draw out a road here and connect to that guideline. Let's draw out as well. And then I'd like to get rid of the road in the middle, just for the time being. So what I'm hoping to put here is a one of the one of the parks that came with the hotels pack, I believe. So if we go into parks and plazas and we go to I think tourism, tourism, yeah. Uh, it was either the old bridge park or the pond park. So I'm trying to think which one is bigger. This one looks bigger. So I think I'm actually going to go with this one. So I think if I go, maybe if I connect it all the way through like this, this might actually be better. Let's see. Old bridge park. And I think that's great. We've got one tile on either side of it. So I kind of like the symmetry of that. And I think this will be nice to kind of sit outside of our uh, subway depot here. Elevated train station. Sorry, not not subway. Um, when they're just regular train tracks above ground, they look the same to me as uh, the regular or the subway stuff. Which I think I only have over here, so uh, which is not being used yet, of course. It will eventually flow along the water and kind of into where I hope will eventually be a nice, huge downtown. So, but again, I'm getting, you know, as usual, I'm getting way ahead of myself here. I've been talking about that downtown since the first episode of the series, and we're not even there yet. 19 episodes in, haven't gotten there. Um, but that's okay. We will one day. And so we'll close it in. That works out literally perfectly, so I'm very happy with that. Then what I would like to do... I think let's try to figure out how to get these two things connected you know what i actually forgot about something very very important um it's actually really not that important but i do need it and so i i don't love that i have to do this but i'm going to and what i want to do is go ahead and move this child care center a little ways out of the way here so I'll put it over here by the elder care and i want to get rid of this road here and um it looks like this is still connected to that road. Perfect. So all of those houses will readjust themselves. We'll clear out a couple of them that, that have stuck around. And this is probably an unpopular choice here, an unpopular decision. But what I want to do is grab our, I think, our unique buildings. And yeah, actually, it's the first one here, the financial buildings. I want to po place the stock exchange. And there's a very specific reason I want to do this. Um, because when you do, if you unlock certain things, like if you actually play with the stock exchange and use it, 
Uh, you can unlock different parks, as you can see down here. We have all these other things that unlock and open. And what I'm really looking for is this elevated plaza. So I need to reach a stock exchange level of three. Um, so basically, if you haven't played with any of the financials DLC, it's... Uh, it's there. It's a thing. I don't know. If you got the DLC, it's... It's whatever. Uh, the only great the only great thing that I can say and would recommend getting this DLC for is actually this map, uh, which is amazing. And it does come in the Financial Districts DLC. But otherwise, it's kind of weird. The buildings are, mm, you know, goofy, to say the least. Um, but it does have this really awesome park. So what we're going to do is go into our economy tab and into investments. And we're going to try to buy ones that are low and hope that they just go up. Oh, look, they already went up. 419,000. So that already should have gotten us, gotten us to level two. So we can upgrade that immediately. And so we got the brown cow, bronze panda, and a small bank. So I'll just walk through these really quickly in case you are curious. This is definitely not going to be the focus of this episode by any means. I just really need that park. Uh, I meant to do this kind of beforehand and I forgot. So here we are. But we unlocked two of the things already, and actually we've got our third, so that's perfect. We have a large bank and an elevated plaza. So, we're basically done with the stock exchange now. But I think if I delete it, it it deletes the parks, unless I've already placed the park. So, I'm a little bit afraid to mess with it, and so I'm just going to leave this stupid ugly building there. I, I really don't like it, but um, I think if I, you know what... Why don't I just go ahead and save it where it is, and hopefully if I place the park and I delete the building, nothing will happen to it. Well, before I before I get rid of the building, let me go ahead and I guess I can talk about the other things that we unlocked. So, in here we have the bronze cow and the bronze panda, which are just tiny little statues. So, if you want them, you want them. If not, I, I can't really recommend them. They don't really do much, uh, some entertainment value. And then uh, there's a couple other things, too, if you expand the um, stock exchange even further. But it's a really weird-looking building, and it gets, like, super, super tall and just really chunky. And I, I'm not a fan of it, and I don't actually want it in this area. Maybe I'll put it in the downtown later. We'll see. But other than that, we also unlocked some stuff in our police department and banks. So we have the three tabs here. One of them is banks. We unlocked the small bank and the large bank. So those things are definitely helpful. Uh, just, you know, they do provide services to your city. Um, but let's see if I delete this, what happens. Destroying the building will remove all stock exchange leveling progress and delete all your investments. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that happening. So let's go ahead and we reestablish the road that I had in here. Let's see if I can do that. We're done with that now. We can focus back on exactly what it is I want to do. And I want to keep this building, but it's not going to go here. So I'll move it over here so that I don't lose it. Because I think if we were to go in here... Oh, no, it does stay unlocked. So the more you know. Anywho, what I would like to do now, though, is go ahead and set up a little bit of a frame for kind of the zoning for this area that I want to have. And I want a very specific kind of zoning. So what I'm going to do is... About this far, let's see. And from here, because this is the area I want to start. And I want to have four by threes buildings in here. So here's a three by four right there. And then one, two, three again. So we'll draw this out a little bit further so we can get exactly where we want. We'll go out here and here for now. And then, so I want to count the squares. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we need to draw out a little bit further still, come back to here, and then there. So then we'll delete all these little extra nubs, and this should have given us the exact kind of zoning size that I want, which is going to be four by threes in each four corners. But before we get started on doing that, hopefully, let's see, I didn't delete this area, so that's nice, uh, but we definitely don't need it to be this big. One of the problems, like, kind of with the build that I did during the live stream of, like, doing this, um... What is it called? Green cities, like high density area, is uh, you know, I'm just so used to playing City Skylines 2 at this point that the scale really threw me off because City Skylines 2 is just so much 
the scale is a lot different. Like, and I don't know a better way to explain that. It's just way different. Uh, so I saw this big area and I thought, well, we can fit a couple buildings in here. But you can fit so much more in this small space in City Skylines 1. So um, our build is probably going to come out a lot smaller this time. So what we're going to do is go on ahead and zone up these 4x3s. And I think I've decided that since I have the Find It mod and I really want this area to look very specific, I'm going to use the Find It mod to place specific buildings. And I want high density green cities. And I'm looking for, obviously, four by threes. And I want these ones here. So I want them to go in this very specific order. So we have to get the right ones. Four by three, four by three. Oh, is this one two? It is. Okay. There we go. They have to be facing the, like, right direction. So we're going to go ahead and place those two. And then we'll do up this side as well. And then we grab the other ones, and that should fit in here the other way. There we are, and that should do it. So that is the look that I'm basically going for. Are these level? These are level twos, which I'm, I'm cool with that. And I think as far as I know, you can correct me wrong. Uh, actually, please correct me if I'm wrong. I think if... I keep this building here. It should rezone the same kind of building again. Oh, you know what? They can still level up when they're historical, so I don't know what even what I'm worrying about. Never mind. Totally irrelevant. I forget that they can still level up. They just won't change their appearance, and I'm good with that. So, perfect. Now what I want to do is, let's see, set this up here. And what was the measurements here? So we had 320. We'll go 320 out. And then back in, just like that, because we want to do the same thing on that other side. And I'm trying to figure out, think exactly how I want to do this. Yeah, so let's bring this over here. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay, and then we'll bring out this guy and then around here like this. And then we'll do 320 by what was the length of this one? So that'll be 400. Oh, there we go. Nice even little boxes here and over here. And then we have this like very uniform kind of area here. So I'm thinking, I guess, we might as well do the same thing on the other side. And again, that's 400, so we'll go 400 out and across. So now we have like this very symmetrical kind of thing going on. And I'd like to place, I, I might just go ahead and do the same park on the other side. I actually think I'm pretty okay with it. Is there, there's not a different like variation. I know that some of these newer parks have like variations that you can change. This one doesn't have it either. Um, I wish this was a tad bit bigger, but I, I still like it. It's fine. We'll work with it. Um, but I just think it's such a nice little asset. I love all the tree accents. I love the colors of it. I, I'm, it's just one of my favorite plazas that we have in the game. So, um, but otherwise that is kind of like the frame that I'm looking for here. And eventually we'll kind of like connect all this stuff up. Possibly the next time we jump into the city, I would like to get this kind of this turned into an interchange of sorts and perhaps do a harbor over here, a cargo harbor, because we did unlock that during the live stream, I'm pretty sure. So the last thing that we unlocked was yeah, ship and our cargo harbors. So really good stuff there. Oh, and a couple uh, stadiums, which will be great for the downtown, so that's nice. So I think that might be something that we work on um, over in this area is kind of what I'm thinking, and we can finally place this ferry depot in somewhere that makes sense and where it actually belongs. Um, but for now, I, as usual, again, I'm getting way ahead of myself, so we're going to stick with it over here, and we're going to fill in these guys. So... Normally, like, if you don't have Find It, this is obviously still possible to get exactly the same look that I'm getting here. Uh, it just requires a little bit more patience. So you have to actually, like, wait for the right building to pop in. And it's just, like, playing a little bit of whack-a-mole to get them to come in. 
So we can mess around with that right now while we do a couple other things and let stuff grow in and hope the things that we want to grow in, grow in. So for now, let's go ahead and continue this network just right up to here because it's kind of a place where it flows really naturally. And I guess it wouldn't be too bad. I wish we had the uh, complex curve tool from City Skylines 2 because that would kind of be kind of perfect right here to make a nice little S-bend. Um, but we can, we can do our own little thing, I guess. Kind of do that. And that's about the closest that we can get to that. Um, and I'm, I'm okay with it like that for now. Let's go ahead and get rid of these little zoning squares because those are weird. Don't need those there. And what I want to do now is kind of set up, finish off this road network. And I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do. If I want to have more pedestrian stuff come off this or just have like a regular road come out. Do I want the curve to continue from on this side? I guess we can we can see how it goes. Um, let's go ahead and just grab this on a freeform curve and bring it right underneath here would be perfect. Don't love how that kind of just ends there, but we'll we'll work with it. And I can actually move this childcare center back to kind of like where it was before. So we'll do that. And again, S bend curve would be perfect. Because I would like to get this in. But this'll do. That's that's workable. I'm okay with that. I think that's okay how that's turned out. Um, do we want another connection all the way through here? I feel like we probably do. Hopefully these don't get aggressively backed up um, and cause a whole lot of problems. We'll probably institute another pedestrian crossing like we have. Where's our last pedestrian crossing? Not all the way until over here. So, which it has a truck on it. Um, anyway, so we'll probably want another one of these definitely at the end of this episode or like in within this episode for this area and this stupid road. I don't know what was going on here, but like it functions. So there we go. Anyway, um, nothing seems to be growing in here and I'm gonna have to guess that that's some sort of power or water situation. We have the water all covered up, so that's good. Um, I'm guessing it's a power thing. Not sure. So let's, let's figure out what else I want to go in here. So first of all, I guess around the plaza, a little bit of parking is probably in order. So let's go into our parks and I believe it's other parks. Yeah. So let's put in a couple of these. Perfect. Then we can get three of them on either side, just like that. And then I think what would be would make a lot of sense here is to put some paths in here. Just like that. People can get through the plaza and they have a little bit of parking. And I think I want to do the same thing as far as parking goes in between here. And these are for kind of the residents of here. That's kind of my what my, my thinking is. Um... But yeah, I think that'll do. Looks like we finally have a building popping in. So I think it was just waiting for power to sort of jump from one side to the other. And, you know, I've been having a couple of these icons pop up. So not enough educated workers. So if we go ahead into our tabs here and we check out education, we, we are pretty good on most things, but we are missing or like we're getting low on high school availability. So I think now might be a good time to go ahead and try to put in another high school. And uh, since we're in the Green Cities area, we'll go ahead and keep the Green Cities theme and we'll grab a Institute of the Creative Arts. So I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to place that in this area. And um, I think I want it kind of right up against the school or I mean right up against the like the corner of the road. Uh, so that way I can put some other parks and things behind it or near it. And I want to make sure I have enough room for it. So we'll go ahead and place it up here. And then I feel like we just have plenty of elementary at this point, so we don't really need any of that. So I'll just leave it for now. Um, but we can always accent this area with a little bit of like some sports parks here. So we'll go ahead and do a basketball court. 
you know what? Now that the, I know that the basketball court fits there, we'll go ahead and actually we'll move this over just a touch. I think I like that a little bit better. Can actually fit another park. Do we want more parking? I mean, like, am I going overkill with the parking? This is supposed to be green cities. Presumably they should all be biking or something, right? Um, so I think I'll leave it there. We can maybe throw some smaller parks in there in a bit. And um, none of these are coming in the way that I want, except for this one. So go ahead and do that. Um, we'll whack a mole these guys. And I'm just I'm just doing this right now just because we're working on some other things anyway, so we've got the time. And okay, so what do we want to go in here? I'm thinking we check out our plazas and parks and stuff. What else do we have? Um content creator stuff is always really great. Um, but I don't want any of that stuff now. Nah. Hotels. Hmm. And I just don't really think that a hotel would be appropriate in this area. As much as I am obsessed with the hotels, I just don't think it's the right spot for them. We have a couple really great plazas from the uh, Plazas and Promenades DLC, but I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if I want those. I think I want another larger kind of asset. Let's see. Ooh, you know what I forgot about is like kind of our city park stuff, which we have a, quite a bit unlocked. Um, I think that'd be kind of nice to have maybe something kind of over here. Like a little spot for like the people that live here to go hang out or something. Oops, I hit a hit the wrong button here. Um, yeah, I think I like that. Okay. And how's healthcare and everything? I mean, we have a hospital, we have a care a clinic right over there, but we might want some other stuff in here too. So, what do we have exactly? Oh, content creator stuff. Let's see what's in here. Medical laboratory? General hospital fits in here, but I want to close this area off, so we'll see. Ooh, you know what? A general hospital fits right in here. I think that is almost perfect. Is almost perfect? Okay, so I think, yeah, with the, with the general hospital, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it right over here. I think I want it to face this road. Go ahead with that there. Because I want to leave this area kind of on its own and not have too many connections coming off of it. I think I'll add maybe one other one down this way. And we'll keep it that we'll keep it like that and just keep it simple. Go ahead and clear out a couple of these guys. We've got a couple more of the buildings in that we want. And uh, we'll just keep an eye on them. Okay, so in here I'm thinking a couple other of the tourism um, assets. I really love those tourist... Uh, the Hotels and Retreats, I think is what it was. That expansion, that little mini DLC, I love the stuff that came with that. So we'll go ahead and put, let's see, what was this one? A sidewalk restaurant. I put one of those in here. And we can do a sidewalk cafe, a little bit smaller. We'll throw that one over here. And the tiny playground I want to put next to the high school. Go ahead and put that over here. It fits right in there on the side because it's super tiny and I love it. So we're going to go with that over there. And we'll do one other thing probably in here. Let's see. You know what? Can't go wrong with a good old-fashioned dog park. So let's go ahead and place one of those about here. All right. And so before we go ahead and jump into a little bit of a detailing time lapse, because uh, that is pretty much the majority of like the actual build, like what I want the area to look like as far as like which buildings go where and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is go through and finish getting the right zoning in here. Here are all these abandoned buildings. And, um, and we'll kind of get this area sorted and detailed up.
Okay, so I kept it pretty simple. Um, I have a forest brush that I've been obviously using for the series, and I went ahead and filled in a couple spaces over here just to kind of like reinforce the vibe that we're going for, kind of like a kind of like a green space over here. And uh, we got like another abandoned building over here. Take care of that. And I kind of wanted to have it sort of go around this entire area, like they've sort of tried to preserve the trees in the area or something to go along with like the green theme of it, I guess. Um, we're still having quite a few issues with the need of educated workers. And I think that's really just gonna take like a matter of time for people to work themselves through um, to the higher education levels because we have the capacity for everybody. So it's just a matter of time for them to actually like go and get educated and then go find jobs. So. I'm just going to go ahead and ignore that and leave it for now and hope that over time it sort of addresses itself and um, we'll take care of any abandonment as we go along. But otherwise, back over here, yeah, I just wanted to, again, sort of reinforce the idea that this is like a green area. Um, I mean, ideally, we would have probably less parking in this kind of spot, but maybe they've got like their electric, maybe these are charging stations. I know that we actually have some that are charging stations, but um, like this one here. Which will historicalize, I guess. Oh, although I think I'm pretty sure if you have a specialization, they don't change anyway. But regardless, just to make sure that we keep that one there. Um, but we'll just pretend that the rest of these are electric car, electric car charging stations as well. Um, and then I just wanted to have a little bit of more parking for the hospital as well, of course. I also threw in a post office over here on the corner. Um, one, just to, like, give another service to this area, kind of make its value go up a little bit higher. Um, I would expect that this would be a very desirable place to live with, like, the Green City stuff. Um, but also just because I'm, like, in love with this asset. It's, like, one of my favorites. Wow. What is going on? Okay. Nope. Still worse. Still worse. Still worse. Um, it's one of my favorites in the game, so I just really wanted to use it as well. Um, and then, so, for in here, I finally decided what we were going to do and I did a little bit of um, commercial stuff in here and then kept the parks and then I just used the already existing pathways that kind of came with this, uh, what is it, sidewalk restaurant and kind of filled out this area with some park de or path detailing. And then I have a lot of the nature parks kind of going through this area, trying to keep it a little bit less concrete. Um, I would have loved to have this not be concrete, but I don't get to pick that, unfortunately. Um, it can change the variation, but it doesn't change the actual path. So, um, but just because I thought, you know, the the dirt path would be ideal for this area, but it, it's fine. It's not really that big of a deal um, that it comes with a concrete one. And then I'm trying to think of what else kind of I did. I, I really just went with a little bit of commercial and office and stuff over here. And I left it with the Green Cities specialization for the commercial as well, just because I do want... I do want it to have that entire theme running through here. Of course, the offices um, on its own, they, you know, they don't have, they don't get to have a theme, but um, so we'll keep it like that. We'll get rid of some of these buildings. I've been very careful about what stuff came in and like what I kept, uh, just because I want to keep the look kind of specific. Um, I also have the roadside motel over here, which is doing okay. We can probably bump that up a little bit. It looks like it could use a little bit more shopping, so maybe we'll zone up a little bit more 
commercial nearby, kind of in this spot here. Oops. And uh, maybe right over here, just another little guy, just to satisfy that guy and try to get as much of him out, as, as much out of that one as we can. And I believe I put another one over here as well, another, the old inn. Uh, I thought it would do better than that, but we'll keep an eye on it. Otherwise, let's see, back to, back to, I keep losing focus here. Um, there's just always so much going on in City Skylines 1 uh, that needs to be addressed kind of, you know, as soon as possible. That I, I feel like is, the urgency is missing in City Skylines 2 um, with some of the problems. They they don't really seem to lead to an issue as quickly. But um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. We're not really talking about, we're not comparing, we're not comparing the two right now. Um, but yeah, so this is really all I wanted. I actually went through with these green cities ones and got all of them to be level two ones because I liked the kind of green tops that we had with these ones. Uh, I didn't like that the other three didn't match. So I went ahead and switched those out as well. Then I just kept a little bit of simple, um, tree dealing, tree detailing through here, kind of like a palette that I sort of use in, um, in kind of these empty spaces and which you can see kind of throughout the city. If um if you've watched any of the series before, which if you haven't, no worries. It's not that big of a deal. There, you know, you don't need to go back and watch them all to to know what's going on here. We're we're building, you know, a specific build at a time. So they're all kind of standalone really. But if you wanted to watch them, they are of course up on the channel. Feel free to check that out. I'll leave the playlist, of course, at the end of this video, um, in case you do want to, like, start from the beginning. And Godspeed if you do, because this was my first YouTube series, so, uh, the, the beginning is very, very beginner, um, <laughs> as far as the quality and everything. But anyway, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I'm losing myself here, I'm getting distracted again. Um, but yeah, so I really like how this plaza kind of turned out. I like the symmetry of it all, so I'm very pleased with how it kind of turned out. I love the dual parks. Um, you know, when I when I was testing this, it looked a lot different, um, but this is significantly better. So, that, which is rarely the case. Usually, I test it and it's better, and then I can't recreate it when I go to do a recording. So, for the first time ever, it's actually turned out better after the fact the second time around. So, I'm very happy with that. Um, but yeah, as usual, uh, like I have with my City Skylines 2 series, if you've been watching that, which of course I'll link as well at the end if you want to check out that and if you are interested in that and you haven't watched it already. Um, we're gonna go, I'll uh, leave it here and leave you with some cinematics to enjoy of our lovely little new area here. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.